Charles Swanson from Velocitech here with a video on the start line pacing guides of the new Pro Start. It's an exciting new feature that's only on the new Pro Start. Uh, we like it a lot. It really helps sailors hit the line on time, at speed, at go. So let's uh, let's show this thing off. Let's get a couple of pings and let's get this countdown timer started. So just set the boat end. See that RC set, semicircles lit solid. Let's sail down to the left side of the line, get a pink set, pin, get a pin set. All right, here we are, we're at the pin. Triangle button to set the pin. Pin is set, confirm there. Semicircle is solid. We have both ends of the line and the line is active. We see the line in the middle of the screen. We'll dive down into the box. Get the countdown timer started, and uh, let's let's just walk down to a depth of something like 30 or 40 meters, and uh, then we'll take a moment to stop and chat about this this feature. The pacing guides are active in the last two minutes of the start sequence. Um, they. The, the pacing guides are the bar graph around the perimeter of the screen and they are above or below this semicircle or these semicircles. Line, segments above indicate that you will be early. Segments below indicate that you will be late. And the segments are your represent your distance to line when the countdown timer expires based off of your current speed and course. It's simple, it's proportional. Each segment is two meters, so you get a pretty good idea of how early, how late you're going to be. And with a little bit of practice, that becomes do I need to speed up or do I need to slow down? Um, this feature doesn't make any doesn't make any assumptions it's 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 just what happens if i keep doing what i'm doing now which with a little bit of practice becomes do i need to speed up or do i need to slow down and then how you speed up or slow down is is up to you the sailor you know do i need, do i need to trim the sails do i need to unfurl my jib do i need to luff sails do i need to do another circle it's all up to you um we're not trying to tell you how to start. We're just trying to give you the tools so you can start better. Um, all right, so pacing guides are active the last two minutes. We're at 250-ish. We'll, uh, we'll sink down to two minutes and see this thing in action. So press the gun button once, sinks down to two minutes. 159, we're inside of two minutes. The bar graph is now lit. We are not moving. We're at 47.9 meters, We're not moving towards the line. The box says, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're gonna be very late. Fair enough, let's get moving. So we're parallel on the line now. And we're at 49 meters, minute 30. All right, we're gonna sink down again just to kill 30 seconds off the clock. So here we are, inside of a minute, 47 meters. We'll start moseying on towards the line. We're kind of making our final approach. We're, we're at a pretty close to one-to-one -one ratio here of time to distance. And that, you know, that, that can be pretty good in a lot of boats. Melger's 24s, J70s, Sport boats of that size uh, use a use a one to one ratio a lot. So here we are. We're trying to balance the time and distance. Segments below. We're going to be a little late. We need to speed up. We can head up, or we can stay at the same course and just speed up. It's easy to control. You as the sailor know know best how to how to manage your start, how to manage your lane, what the traffic outlook is. There we go, there's the timer. We were a meter under, we are a little conservative there, but uh, the box said we were gonna be within two meters. 
And we were. We were a meter below, but we were at pace. So there it is, the start line pacing guides on the all-new Velocitech Pro Start. Thanks for watching.